Have you ever played in any game and suddenly noticed why this door is so huge? Hi, my name is Nikolai and in this video we will find out what's wrong with these doors. You may not have noticed that in most games doors and doorways are significantly larger than in real life. Probably because doors as a gameplay mechanics are not designed to attract a lot of attention to them. Let's figure out what dimensions door have in real life. In average, interior and exterior doors have dimensions between 70 to 90 centimeters in length and 2 meters in height, which is not much higher than average height of human used in games, which is 180 centimeters. Now let's take a look at some game examples. Here in Hitman, doors are almost one and a half times larger than the character. In Mirror Search the same, doors are super super big, and Watch Dogs too. Again, doors are way taller than the character. So why do game creators do this? Let's test it inside Unreal Engine 4 to see what exactly happening. Here we have 5 examples. The first doorway on the left is close to real doors, 2 meters in height and 80 centimeters in length. The door on the right side has dimension close to the game examples we saw before. If we go through the first door, you can see that it looks ridiculously small, it seems like our camera almost touches the wall on the top of the door. The result with the second door and with the third one is almost identical. But with the fourth door it feels more natural to go through. You now have some space to move and to look. And finally, the last door is even better. So why is this happening? Why real dimensions don't work in games? The answer is in field of view. Overage human has a field of view of 180 degrees, while in game your character cameras mostly have field of view up to 90 degrees. People also have binocular vision, it gives us an ability to perceive single three-dimensional image of our environment with two eyes. Here is an example. We have two walls and the circle which represents the head with eyes. Here is the right eye and the left one and they both can see a little bit extended image behind the corners. The right eye can see more on the left side and the left eye can see more on the right side of the doorway. At the end, we have combined image from two eyes. But in games, you have only one eye, which is your camera, and it can produce only flat two-dimensional image. So in real life, when you pass through the doorway, you can see more than on the game screen. So if you made doorways in games the same as in real life, they would seem small and inconvenient to use, because our field of view is limited. Therefore, the game developer's goal is to make you go through the doors naturally. There is also one more problem, especially with the third-person games. But first of all, don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more content about tips and tricks in game development later. And let's get back to our video. We have covered the first-person games, but what about the third-person one? Let's play test it again. With the larger doorways, the camera which is detached from the character model can move more freely and not touch walls, and you do not need to be distracted by the doorways during the game. To summarize this video, real-world measurements do not always work in game environment. So if you are planning to use the doorways in your game, you always need to test dimensions before, with your specific character model, with its unique height and camera position. Leave the comment below this video and tell us what other interesting details have you noticed in games. Maybe I should do a video on this topic. Now you can watch my previous video on how you can manually control textile density right inside your 3D application. And see you next video on this channel.